What's up, guys? Anthony with AC Fly Fishing. I'm got, Bucko. Got Bucko hanging out today. We're doing a little fishing, um, springtime fishing on the upper sack. Uh, we're dealing with some high water. So primarily, we're going to be subsurface fishing today. We're going to talk a little bit here about European-style nymphing, tight-line nymphing, 100 different words for it, um, but a technique that's it's really effective during these conditions on a big freestone river like this. So, Bucko, maybe break down your rig a little bit and how yeah. you like to go about getting them. Yeah, so I'm fishing a 10-foot four-weight rod. I like the longer rods and the lighter weights are more sensitive when you're high sticking. And I got a Euro nymph line on there. Uh, they're a lot less... Uh, they're thin diameters. Thinner, thinner diameters. Much so, different than a fly yeah. line would be. So you're going to feel every tick and uh, every eat when you're uh, high sticking through the river. Super sensitive. So, yeah. So I'm usually fishing... Uh, you could fish a standard 9-foot leader too if you're just using your leader off a bobber rig. But I'm, I like to fish uh, the Euro nymph leader too. Um, but typically it's just a thin diameter above a cider. Uh, I got like two to three feet of a different color uh, cider material. Cider material, something that's gonna stick out. Yeah, so it's easy to easy to see a grab. And then I got a tippet ring here, or you could tie a blood knot or whatever whatever knot you're comfortable with. And I got four to five feet with my weight, depending on how deep the water is. Uh, summer flows, I'll go a little bit shallower, uh, shallow pocket water style. Uh, right now we're fishing the spring runoff, so I got a little bit deeper section through here. And then uh, preferences, I put the weight above the flies and put two flies below. Um, Anthony does a different little bit different style of rigging for his high stick. Couple different method. ways to do it, yeah, yeah. Whatever, whatever guys are comfortable with, yeah. you can do it a few different ways. As long as in this heavy, turbid water, as long as you know you're getting your flies down, you're penetrating that heavy current is the ticket, yeah. right? Yeah. And that's why another reason too, we like to fish pretty thin diameter. We're not fishing real chunky tapered leader material. It's a thin diameter fluorocarbon. It's going to help penetrate and get through the get through the surface current a lot better. Um, extremely effective way to catch fish out here when the flows are high, even when they're low. That's our standard setup for fishing these flows, fishing a European style rig. Um, we're gonna go out there and hit it and hopefully show you a few fish and, and why it can be so effective. Thanks for yeah. checking us out, boys. Get it.